Do you currently run an HEI distributor on your small block Chevy or big block Chevy? Well, if you do and you're thinking about upgrading to a 6AL box by MSD, just hear me out. I wouldn't do it and here's why. Now, full disclosure, I'm not crapping on a 6AL box by any means. This is just personally my account of what I've dealt with and I'm going to try to save you a little bit of grief. I've had my 6AO box on my truck for a little bit over a year now and it did pick up the spark quite a bit. But now we're going to have to rewind about a year ago after the first little road trip I did in my truck and the first breakdown was going to Southeastern Truck Nationals 2023. Whenever I was heading down that way I started experiencing some problems, didn't have any idea what it was. Turns out it was the coil on my distributor. So the HEI has a coil up on top of it and by the time I found out what that problem was, it was smoking hot, couldn't even touch the thing and it just lost spark. But prior to that leading up to it, ran like complete crap. So when I say HEI, I'm referring to this style of GM carburetor for high energy ignition and Basically what that thing does is the MSD takes place of your module that's in here and that is what the MSD box takes control of everything and it does all the spark. And just so you don't think that I'm just going on a huge rant and making up a lot of crap just to trash talk the MSD system which I'm not at all. I'm just like I was saying literally telling you what I went through maybe trying to save you a little bit of pain and suffering but I don't have on video anymore the first breakdown. But right here, this is the first breakdown on Hot Rod Power Tour, and it was doing the same thing in line. I thought, man, this thing is really acting up, and I thought it was a lean issue where the truck was running out of fuel while we were sitting in line, but turns out it was another coil issue. Swap that out for Swap that out for one of these high performance Excel coils. I was thinking maybe that they could handle just a little bit more juice. Sorry Excel, but I would avoid those coils like the plague. That thing lasted me a total of one day. And as you can see right here, it is coil number two on Hot Rod Power Tour that I swapped out. And I think I made it, man, another probably 300 miles or so on that coil and then literally pulling onto my road from Hot Rod Power Tour I lost another one. And then finally the last straw was on the way to Southeastern Truck Nationals 2024 which was just last weekend and another coil went out on the side of the interstate. Terrible place uh, to break down if you've ever been stranded on the side of the interstate you know what I'm talking about. But got to swapping that thing out. I went to start putting everything back to a factory HEI style ignition on my truck. But I didn't unfortunately have all the stuff that I needed. One of the condensers inside the factory HEI was not working. Let's go one step further. We're on our way back. We are still running off the MSD. And I can just tell, because it's happened so many times to me, that the truck is starting to do its thing. It's starting to eat another coil. So basically, I just looked up the closest O'Reilly's. We jumped in there. I ended up buying a complete HEI distributor, robbing the existing parts because they didn't have exactly this. Just a little condenser is all I needed that hooks on the other side of the module, but they didn't have that. So bought a whole HEI distributor, which I have plenty of vehicles for those to go on. So. It's always good to have an extra one around. Anywho, we're running just a factory HEI on my small block Chevy and my 64 now. So the main reason I did that and put the 6AL box on my truck is because I continuously fouled plugs and let me get it straight, the 6AL cured that issue, but my truck was running extremely fat in the realm of the tens on a AFR gauge so we tuned the carburetor on this thing and I'm telling you 
I just ran it all the way back, probably two hours on a stock HEI. Never found the first plug, so I think it's going to be just fine on a stock HEI system. So option two, if I'm not going to run the stock HEI forever, I've got this Pro Billet distributor, and it's a ready-to-run unit, and it's going to have this external coil. And I've been talking with my buddy Brent. This might be the option we go with. And that'll be pretty nice. Which I talked to a buddy at Southeast Truck Nationals. I'm not going to name drop because I don't know if he wants me to do that or anything. But he was saying the best setup for that MSD box is going to be a Pro Billet. Which I guess that's what that technically is. And then the 6AL. And then those two just work and kind of hand in hand really good together then you can have that external coil outside of the distributor and hopefully potentially stay a little cooler than the HEI style the dually here is running an HEI and it has been since I put it together and that is coming up on one year and I've never had the first issue with spark on this truck so don't get it twisted the HEI is a very good very reliable distributor and I do like them a lot. Just unfortunately not paired up with the 6AO box because it will in fact fry your coil. I actually tried to do a little low resistance bushing that goes underneath your coil and it didn't seem to do anything. If anything, it made it, I'm not gonna say worse, but definitely didn't make it better. So I just wanted to get this video out and get it made because I did make an install video on putting that MSD 6AL on my HEI and at the time I thought it was going to be the best thing since sliced bread. Unfortunately that's not the case. I've since taken that video down because I do not want anybody else to put the box on their trucks because I've already had one guy that did that and that kind of bums me out because he had to do basically the same thing I did and went back just to a factory style HEI. So. This, again, is not a video of me bashing MSD or the 6AL box. I'm just personally telling you that it did not work out for me. So I'm just getting it out there. You can make your own judgment call. You might have Ricky down the street that's had it on his truck for 30 years. He's never had any issues. And I'm the one that's wiring something wrong. That's fine with me. But I'm just telling you. That's what I've had, and I've had some people that are very reason, are very knowledgeable on all this kind of stuff, and they've pretty much told me, hey, you need to get away from the 6AL with an HEI. So That's just my little thing on it. I just wanted to get this video out. It's not a super in-depth tutorial video or anything like that, but I've had a lot of people asking me about coils, and I know a lot of people that have watched my videos have seen my coil issues. So, I just wanted to get this out. Hopefully it saves you a little bit of heartache in the future if you're thinking about doing something like that. But, like I said, I would recommend if you're going to do a 6AL box because you want that hotter spark, I would go with a Pro Billet paired with that. And then you have an external coil and maybe it'll take the heat a little bit better because that thing, if you ever pull a plug out with an MSD 6AL box, that thing's firing some spark. But, yeah. Hopefully we got the old 64 line back out now. Get on down the road without any issues because that is like literally the only issue that I'm having with this truck. Other than that, zero complaints. So thank you so much for watching another one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know, have you heard anybody that's ever had problems with this kind of stuff on a HEI style distributor? Or am I the first one you've heard it from? Let me know in the comments. And as always, Thank you so much for sticking in here, and I'll see you on the next one.